to my channel, Amore TV. We need like rainbows coming out of my hands. Long story short, I am in a quarantine and I am really bored and I don't know what to do with my life and I have a degree that I can't use. So here I am on YouTube. She is arrived. For my first video on YouTube, I'm gonna try to make a luxury bag out of toilet paper. Why? I don't know, but I had this idea and I'm gonna do it. Okay? Okay. I was doing some research and I started to look through, you know, like Pinterest to see like what people was coming up with like toilet paper and apparently there are so many people that likes to create things with toilet paper. You can literally make animals, make like pencil holder, Anything you can imagine, people, okay, gets really creative when they are on the toilet seat. As a luxury bag, I decided to create, recreate, um, the beautiful and amazing and iconic Kelly bag. If you don't know what's the Kelly bag, is the sister of the Birkin bag from Hermes. Hermes? Hermes. But my personal favorite is the Kelly bag because it's tiny and it's cute and you can like put anything on the side and you have like a little tracolla, how do you say, like the thing that you uh, 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 and then you just carry it around. It's much easier. Let's try in this journey, you and me together, okay, to create this amazing creature from toilet paper roll. Yes. I started by collecting a lot of sexy toilet paper and then I cut, 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 and cut, and cut, and then lay down every single piece. I also give it a little bend just to like, you know, make them flat and flatter so they won't roll back on each other. And then put something really heavy. Hmm. This time I did some research that I'm gonna share with you right now while you can watch the footages of me trying to explain and create this amazing bag and understand also a bit of the history so the first thing that i did it was to lay down all the pieces and put the tape to glue the different um, toilet rolls together and after i tried to cut them into the different pieces that will create the final bag fun fact number one so this bag was named after the princess of monaco grace kelly she was an american actress that fell in love with the prince of monaco these two lovebirds they met on the set of a hitchcock movie called to catch a thief and they were not in love at first but the prince decided to start a long correspondence uh, which means like they were sending letters to each other and after a few years they got married Here you can see the beautiful pieces that I managed to cut out. We have the top, the bottom, the side, the handle, we have a little bit of everything. For the metal parts, I didn't thought about it at the beginning, but then I started looking around my house and I finally found something. I found this old iPhone charger that was broken. I decided to use it for the metal parts so it holds the shape quite well and it was perfect. I put some of my favorite tape on it and I made two little loops that I attached to the handle. To assemble the bag, I watched um, a beautiful video that I found on YouTube provided us by New York Times. The video is really good and you should definitely go and watch it because it gives you a lot of insight about the bag and they have this amazing music that it gives you so much energy. I positioned first the handles and measured how far they were and tried to put them at the same level but of course it didn't work because my measurements were not right apparently and I didn't notice until the end. But. I was really happy anyway because I didn't knew at the time, as you can see from my super happy face. <laughs> to assemble the final bag, I cut the little holes to put the little arms for the bag that holds the bag together and gives it a cute shape. And I touched the sides and I put the tape everywhere that you could possibly think because everything had to be perfect and at the end I attached the hands and looped them around 
so it could finally hug itself and just be happy. Fun fact numero dos. The initial name of the bag was the sac à de pêche. Excuse my France. Listen, I don't know how to pronounce French. I almost failed my class in French when I was in middle school. So let's go back to the story. The princess had like a huge passion for these Hermes bags and she was just newly married. When the paparazzi took her picture while she was trying to cover her pregnancy belly with this bag and Hermes thought to um, name it after her. Isn't it so sweet? I want somebody to name a bag after me too, please. Here it is, the bag almost finished. The only thing that I'm missing is the metal part in the front where I found one of these bendy thingies, the metal wire that you find in the bread to close the bread. And I used that and I did a little knot that would look like the lock of the bag. And I bend it and I place it there and I started painting it. I gave it like two or three layers. I gave it like multiple layers so I can cover everything. As a color, I chose white because it's the one that I have the most, as you can see. And it's the easiest one when you don't have to think about color and then in the future if I want, I can just change or like draw on top. Fun fact numero tres. The last fun fact is that every single bag is made by one single artisan and it takes 20 to 25 hours to make. Excuse me? Can we talk about this iconic moment right here? Isn't this bag stunning? Like, look like look is it focusing even like this is so nice okay it's not how it's supposed to be it's not the right size but it's amazing okay we have to appreciate this for what it is this morning when i woke up from my bed i thought that this would have been a disaster because <sighs> but instead okay i made it this gorgeousness it was made from this okay toilet paper and an apple charger i'm sorry apple but your charges broke really fast unfortunately and especially one of my favorite things about this bag is this like white color that you can see also like a bit of the tape it's a really like margella moment happening right here yes yes you can open it even you can put your tissues inside to use to like clean your tears yes and you we can also use it as a masterpiece and leave it there just like to look at and we're gonna call it untitled thank you very much for watching this video and assisting to my art attack i hope that you liked it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe